Hi, this is Jimmy. Who's this? Jimmy, this is former New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. Hey, Andrew. How you doing? Well, I'm doing uh, very well, thank you for asking, because I have good news. Isn't that interesting? Yes. The last time I called you, I also had good news. <laughs> Do you notice a trend here? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You're you're gloating? No, not gloating. <laughs> Just very smugly pointing out things are going my way again like I predicted they would. I was right, Jimmy. We are witnessing the Cuomozons. <laughs> It is kind of weird how... Anyway, what's your good news, Governor? A New York state judge has ruled that I <laughs> can keep <Yeah>. them... <laughs> <laughs> Three syllables and I. I, I. I. <laughs> A New York state judge has ruled that I <laughs> can keep the money from my book. Oh. All $5.1 million of it. Mine in my pocket. <laughs> going jing a ling a ling. <laughs> Would this perchance be your book, American Crisis Lessons from COVID 19 Pandemic? Yes, it would. <laughs> would you like a signed copy? $30, please. <laughs> no, I would not. The book where you bragged about your response to COVID while hiding the true numbers of nursing home deaths in your state? You you get to keep that money? All of it. Still got. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't think that's good news at all. Well, it is for fucking me. <laughs> I already bought a fur coat for myself. What? <laughs> Why did they rule this way? Well, that's the best part. The funniest part, really. You see, the administrative body who ordered that I give that money to the state of New York was called the Joint Commission on Public Ethics, or JCOPE. Just a group of appointed assholes. <laughs> I see. And they overstepped their bounds in every way, not just with my case. They were going bananas. And do you know what happened? The state abolished them because they sucked so hard. <laughs> this thing sucked so bad it was erased from existence. The very book of life itself. Okay. So the judge said, yeah. <laughs> we might not like Andrew Cuomo, per se, but this defunct collection of scolds and prigs can't just take money away from somebody without due process legally. <laughs> and they did not have the authority to exercise <laughs> their due process. All right, all right. I, I, I kind of I kinda see your point. What's that? I didn't hear you. <laughs> 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 this guy is such an asshole. <laughs> I said yes. It appears the judge ruled properly here. Oh, so you're on my side now. Well, would you look at that? I didn't say it's on your side, Mr. Cuomo. Far from it. I just said that... I know, I know, I get it. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> It's a hard thing to admit when someone you don't like is legitimately getting shafted. But if you wrote a book and a handful of 65-year-old virgins <laughs> decided you were naughty and you had to give them all your money, you'd probably make a little stink about that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Maybe say a few things into that microphone right there. Yeah, I probably would. Right. So this is how I win. Wait, when what? The governorship, my political clout and power back, the uh. respect of my peers, all the strange a man my age could handle. <laughs> you know, fucking everything. <laughs> <laughs> and, and how again? Jimmy.
Jeremy, this is New York, New York State, not California. I've been to your state. I know what it's like there. They like men who cry. Sensitive men. Adam Schiff, that's who they elect. Men who look like they have a, a kick-me sign permanently sewed into his, their jackets. Not here. New Yorkers love winners. Fighters. Not victims. So the sooner I can paint myself as a victor, not a victim, the more they will rally to me. Okay. So what did I do here? A female judge who could clearly sense my balls <laughs> said, you get to keep your money that you earned, right? That's power. People can smell that on you. When I resigned, I looked like a little bitch. <laughs> so I have to build back up to bull status. Bull status? Don't play dumb with, don't play dumb with me, Jimmy. You're a bull, too. We've been over this. You can't fool me. Okay, I suppose you're right. That a boy. So you get it. One by one, I will defeat these injustices that have been done to me and done to my brother. <laughs> and we will have victory. And people will love me again, including you, Jimmy. No, no way. I'll never be a Cuomo supporter. Oh, come on. You have to. I'm funny. <laughs> I don't like this. Come on. <laughs> you love it when I call in. My brazen ways. Yeah. Talking about bulls and bulls. <laughs> Saying Stugats. <laughs> and getting emotional when I talk about my brother. <laughs> you eat it up with a spoon. Face it, you're my biggest supporter, and the Jimmy Dore Show is currently my largest platform. I hate this, actually. So I will be coming to you with updates as I climb up this mountain, where I will reach the top and dance with the goats. You can pretend to hate me all you want, but deep down I know there is a love for me that is stronger than anything you've ever felt before. And your listeners know it. I, I don't hate you, Governor Cuomo. I, just th I think you are a disgraced, corrupt politician who should forever remain outside the public eye. I really love what we have, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, ciao, baby. <laughs> hey, we're coming to Tulsa, Oklahoma City, Detroit, Los Angeles, Spokane, Tacoma, Denver. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all our tickets for all our live shows. See you there.